Welcome to YouTube Excel Finance Trick number 13. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on the college website link and download this workbook, Finance Tricks 1 to 17. Hey, in trick number 17, we're going to start on the PV and NPV and XNPV sheet tab. Now, here's our question. We want to look at the uh, this is a whether or not we should buy a piece of equipment question, and we're going to use the present value function. Here's our situation. You are considering buying a machine that will yield $35,000 net cash flow for the next 10 years. If you must earn a minimum return on investment of 15%, should we buy the machine if it costs $165,500? Well, the way to approach this is to take the cash flows 35,000 this is at the end of each year it meets the definition of an annuity the same amount of cash with the same amount of time between each cash flow so we can use the present value function in essence what we're doing with the present value is we're taking all those future cash flows and discounting them back to today taking all the interest out to see what it's worth today because we need an amount today to compare to this cost. All these $35,000 cash flows are in the future, and you can't compare cash flows that are at different points in time. So by using the present value function on this annuity of $35,000 to get a present value today, we can then compare it to this cost. Obviously, if they're asking $165,000, and the machine comes out in, in our estimation that uh, it could be we, we, we're willing to pay 200,000 for instance, then this is a bargain. So let's see how this works. Equals PV, open parentheses. Now, the rate, remember, with financial functions, the two tricks are all of the units have to be the same. So if we're talking about annual, then all the elements have to be annual. If it was at monthly, they'd all have to be monthly. The second trick is cash flow. Cash flow matters. So minus means cash going out, plus means cash coming in. So the rate, this is for an annual. So we're going to click on our annual rate, comma. This is for annual. So our NPR, which is total periods, is years, comma. Now our payment. Now, this is us. We own the machine. So when the machine generates a cash flow, it's going to be a plus. So we do nothing. We just take that plus 35,000. Now, comma, and we don't need to use future value because there's nothing left at the end. And we don't need to use type. So I'm going to backspace and close parentheses. That's it. 70, 175,000. So our calculations suggest that this thing should cost 175,000. This, in essence, is uh, the amount we're willing to pay. Anything less than this, like uh, $10,000 less, we're definitely going to buy it. We see it as a worthy investment. Now, let's calculate the difference. Equals this minus number minus this bigger minus number, and it will give us a positive. There it is. That's the difference between. Uh, the the two and in a, the net present value then is a positive for us all right we'll see you next excel finance trick